The prophet Elisha sent for one of his men and said, Run with this flask of olive oil and go and find Jehu, the son of Jehoshaphat, in the palace called Ramoth Gilead. Get him away from his companions and take him into a private room. Pour the oil on his head and say, This is what the Lord says. I anoint you as the king over Israel. So this is what the young prophet did. As he anointed Jehu, he told him, The Lord God of Israel says you are to destroy the whole house of Ahab. The whole house of Ahab must now die, and Jezebel too. When Jehu came out of the private room and told his friends what the man had done, they all spread their cloaks under him and blew a trumpet and shouted, Jehu is king. The first thing Jehu did as king was to get rid of the old king, Joram, who was Ahab's son. Joram was in Jezreel, trying to recover from wounds he got in battle. He was resting there with his friend, the king of Judah, Ahaziah, who was actually married to Ahab's daughter. Jehu rode up in his chariot. They could see him coming from a long way off. So the king sent a messenger to see who was coming and whether they came in peace. But Jehu kept the messengers with him and wouldn't let them return. As he got much closer, the two kings realized it was Jehu, and they went out to meet him in their own chariots. King Joram asked, Have you come in peace, Jehu? Jehu answered, How can there be any peace in Israel with all the evil of your family and Jezebel around? King Joram and King Ahaziah tried to escape, but Jehu hit them both with arrows. King Joram died right there. King Ahaziah died trying to get back to Judah. Jezebel was also in Jezreel at the time, and Jehu carried on into the town and up to her tower. She called down at him, calling him a murderer. Jehu called up into the tower. He asked if anyone in the tower was on his side. There were people there who knew how evil she was, and they threw Jezebel out of the window, and she died right there. God had destroyed her power. Next, Jehu wrote a letter. He sent it to the 70 families in the large city of Samaria, all who had relatives of Ahab living with them. He told them all to choose a new relative of Ahab to be their king, and then to come and fight him and his followers. The families in Samaria were too scared though. They knew Jehu had killed two other kings and Jezebel already. So they wrote back to say, we will follow you, do whatever is best. Jehu told them, If you are on my side and you will obey me, then kill anyone in your houses from Ahab's family and come to me in Jezreel. The families were still scared, so they killed Ahab's relatives and sent them in baskets to Jezreel. Jehu stood amongst the baskets and declared to everyone, Look, not a word that the Lord God has spoken against Ahab has failed. The Lord has done what he promised through Elijah. Jehu made sure there was not anyone left from Ahab's family in all Israel. When Jehu arrived in Samaria, he tricked all the prophets of Baal to get rid of them forever. He pretended that he wanted to worship Baal and wanted to fill the temple in Samaria with every single one of the prophets and priests of Baal to make offerings. When they were all there, Jehu's men went through the temple and killed every one of them, and they destroyed the temple completely. So, King Jehu destroyed Baal worship in Israel. At the end of all this, God spoke to King Jehu. You have done well in my eyes. You have carried out all that I intended to do to the house of Ahab. Your sons will rule over Israel's throne for four generations. Sadly, Jehu did not stop everything that was wrong in Israel.